Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That that is not for me. That cannot be in the show. So can we have the um the theme tune? Is it ready? Yes. Is it good? I love it. Do you? Could you play it? Sam. Sorry, Sue. You you. Ed. Ed, can you play the theme then? Play the theme. Oh dear. Is it broken? No. No? Meant to sound like that, is it? Okay, that, that tune, is it with these words? Yeah. It's a week to the show. This is this is all we've got. We're saddled with it. Okay, horn section. I'm singing a song. Horn section, are you playing? Yeah. Yeah. I can never hear you. Horn section, I don't know why you're in the show. Horn section, this is the theme tune. I like what you're doing, Ben. Horn section, because my name is Horn section. Fine, yes. I think that, but I think in a different key, a different tempo, and if you could all just generally play it a lot better. OK? Yep. One, two, three, four! Horn section, I'm singing a song. Horn section, the song is the theme tune to the horn section. Because my name is Horn section, is the name of the band, but of the horn section, there's also a horn. In a band or an orchestra, so horn section is not a bad name. Horn section, and this is our television program. Tonight, on the Horn Section television program, we have comedy from Sue Perkins, Joe Wilkinson, and Sarah Pascoe. We have surprise musical guests, and I will do some dancing. Horn section, I'm singing a song. Horn section, the song is the theme tune to the horn section. And this is our television program. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Hello! And welcome to the Horn Section television program. My name is Alex Horn, and behind me I have four incredible musicians and Mark Brown on saxophone. Yes. But who are these musicians? Well, if you think you might recognise them, you may well do, if you're a child who's learning music in North London. So, <laughs> let's find out their names. On guitar and sax tonight, it's Mark Brown! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a very talented musician who wrote the jingle to the phone number for Babe Station. <laughs> On drums. He's got a handsome face and exactly the same amount of body hair as an egg. It's Ben Reynolds! <laughs> on bass, he's a vegetarian, but he doesn't go on about it and he eats meat. It's Will Collier! <laughs> Low notes. You can't hear them. OK. <laughs> and who's that guy on piano? Genuine question. It's uh, <laughs> Nick, 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 Daniel, Daniel. Begins with an F. Fr 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 Fred. Ed. Ed. It's Ed. Wow. Ed. I know I won't forget that name. It's Ed, our temporary pianist. He's been in the band for eight years now. <laughs> and finally, on trumpets, he's only 18 years old, but he's had a difficult life. It's Joe. That's what I do. I'm the conductor of the orchestra. <laughs> and I'll be using a lot of technical musical terms, like stop. <laughs> so, what is the horn section television programme? Well, it's a mixture of music and comedy. But that's incredible, I know. It's literally never been done before. <laughs> and if you're struggling to get your head around the concept, probably best to imagine a meal where you've got some spaghetti, Mmm, that represents music. Lovely spaghetti, but oh, a little bit bland. How about I mix in another ingredient? This is comedy. How about I mix in a different food, something like lasagna? Oh, suddenly, mmm, that's different. That's what this show is. It's spaghetti and lasagna. <laughs> it's delicious, and there's a lot of it. No, you wouldn't want it every day. But let's demonstrate. <laughs> Please can I have a little bit of spaghetti slash music? Hi, so my name is Alex. I'm a former 
child, and <laughs> I'm now a married man. Oh, the wedding was expensive, but we had it sponsored by T-Mobile. Big mistake, shit service, no reception. So that's, <laughs> that's the concept in action. The music disguises the comedy. <laughs> Tape. Right. What was that? Sticky situation. Sticky situation. And that's a genuine suggestion for the show. Alex. Alex Horn. Alex Horn. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I've got a question. Okay. Who's the first guest? Good question. Mark, it's oh, it's Sarah Pascoe. And what have we got to do for her? Doesn't matter, mate. It's none of your business. Okay, just bloody enjoy it. And Ben, you've got to watch out for the visual signals, okay? Okay. Just like that. That's how I'm gonna cue the songs. Yep. 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 Okay, don't miss them. I promise I won't. You might. I won't. <sighs> you probably will. Alex. Alex. Yes, Paul? Do you think people will like the show? Do I think people will like the show? I don't know. I'm going to ask Will. Will, do you think people will like the show? That depends. OK, it depends. It depends on whether or not people like the show. OK, it's a good point. Twitter is the place to go to find out if people like the show. So I think on the night, don't look at Twitter. Hello. There we go. <laughs> so, Ben. Yeah. Give me some disco drums. OK, when? But on the signal, we talked about this. I can't see the signal. I can't see you. You too high? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Is there anything we can do about that, Ben? Not, not really. Not could now you be, built Could this. you be lower? I, I could have been. 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 I could have been. I could have been. I should have been. Should have been. I should have been lower. <laughs> I'm going to jump, Ben. OK. <laughs> have you jumped? Funny <laughs> guy. Funny guy. Ben, give me some disco drums. <laughs> OK, so this is a true tale of life on the road. Ever wondered what it's like to be in a band? This is what it's like to be in a band. This happened late at night, far from home. 9.15 p.m. on the A41 near Berkhamsted. We were travelling just over 50 miles per hour. And then this happened. Is it the police? Is it the pigs? Is it the cops? Is it the narcs? Is it the boys in blue? Is it the feds? Is it the 5 O? Is it the fuzz? Is it Bergerac? Is it the scum? Is it Morse? Is it the filth? No! It's the highway maintenance vehicle! I know. Absolute nightmare. That was between eight and ten minutes of pure hell. So this is the Horn Section television programme, and like all television programmes, we're here in the Palladium with an incredible live audience! OK, they're ready. <laughs> it's now time for our first guest of the evening. So here to have fun with the band, please welcome the wonderful Sarah Pascoe! <laughs> Sarah Pascoe. Sarah Pascoe's here. Hello. Hello, Alex. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Band, this is Sarah. Sarah, this is a band. Hello. Hello. Sarah. Hello. Hello. Mm, they're all yours. How about you? I, oh. What have you um, been up to? Really? <laughs> um, 
I saw the hygienist for the first time in three years. The dental hygienist oh, for dental. the first time. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of me genuinely clean, so <laughs> you can do what you want with the band. And I've got a thing for you to do in my bit, okay. to tell you when we come to your bit. So, I was thinking, this is so exciting, getting to use a full band. What happened to me is, um, uh, just after Christmas, I, went, I had a breakup and I went on a spiritual yoga retreat. And the problem with this spiritual yoga retreat was where it was, what it was, and who was there. And... <laughs> I thought, I thought it would make an excellent musical. <laughs> and, and so I thought, you guys, maybe we could... Um, that's so good. Yes, yeah, so we could make a musical out of it. OK. Uh, of my trip. So um, I went on my spiritual yoga retreat on Boxing Day. Christmas Day is the day I broke up with my boyfriend. And that is still not my worst ever Christmas. Um, <laughs> because I have a family. <laughs> the next day... Off I went to my spiritual yoga retreat, which was in a place called Costa Rica. <laughs> now it turns out that Costa Rica, <laughs> unlike Brava or Del Sol, is um, not in Spain. <laughs> where it should be. <laughs> I found out on the aeroplane um, when they said it was going to take 14 hours to get there. <laughs> it is in a terrible place called the jungle. Now, I'm very pro-jungle in theory. My entire life I've been saying things like save the Amazon and uh, what's the name of another jungle? <laughs> but, but you don't want to have to actually go there. It's where the spiders live. <laughs> I was living in a, a shack with a, a corrugated iron roof underneath a mango tree. Oh, that sounds nice. Mangoes, they fall off the tree about once every 15 minutes <laughs> throughout the night. Just like that. Like, jolting you awake. So now you can hear the iguana dragging his scaly body across the undulations of the roof above you. And you can hear how close all of the other insects are, right? Um, there's this thing, in this country, you might be the same, I've got an app on my phone which plays jungle noises like a relaxing way to get to sleep. You're like, oh, all the chirruping. In real life, those noises are all of the different creatures calling out to each other, plotting your murder. <laughs> it's nothing relaxing at all. One of the insects, and I'm not lying, one of the insects, it would tap on the glass and its call was... Actually, Alex, this is your bit. So its call was a very high-pitched, let me in. <laughs> let me in. <laughs> So he's like, yes. let me in. Let me, let me in. That's it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so every 15 minutes throughout the night as you're trying to get to sleep, it's... Oh, let me in. <laughs> let me in. Let me it's in. Just like, it's just like that. Let me in. Um, <laughs> when I was in Costa Rica... There were 24 of us at the yoga retreat. Everyone had just broken up with someone, obviously. Um, we were all just having different versions of the same woman, like a middle-aged American divorcee who thought the best of her life was over. There was one lady called Barbara who was quite cheerful, but we wore her down. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I sound like I'm being mean. I have to tell you the truth. At the end of the week, these women were like a family to me in that they made me feel very anxious and <laughs> did not understand my career. Um, <laughs> but yoga, oh, it's fantastic. It's changed my life. It's given me a whole new language. Um, my favourite new word is... Um, Namaste. It's a very old word. It's very sacred. And it means... The yoga is finished. <laughs> and then you're allowed to leave. But <laughs> spirituality, I find it so challenging. On New Year's Eve, they had a big ceremony for us. Um, they made a big fire. That's nice. And um, then they asked us all to call down our ancestors and invite them to join us. I'd not done that before. It turns out that calling down your ancestors is just saying the names of your ancestors near a fire. Um, I just said the names of my mum and dad, neither of whom are dead. Um, <laughs> 
And then we sat in a circle, cross-legged, and we chanted. And one by one, we went round and we set our intentions for 2018. And it turned out that we all wanted exactly the same thing, which was to use peace, love, and creativity to be less fat. <laughs> Thank you so much. The world premiere of Costa Rica. Sarah Pascoe! Sarah Pascoe! Sarah Pascoe! Quiz. Alex, we need to rehearse. There's no time for a quiz. There's always time for a quiz. What B is a good adjective to describe spaghetti? Bendy. Bendy. Well done. What D is bigger than a horse? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Much bigger. What J is my favourite name for a girl, and what M is my favourite Barry? Uh, Janet and Manilow. Manilow, yes. What U is where most of my socks are? Upstairs. Upstairs. And finally, what N is a nice name for a man or a dog, or ideally an eel? Uh, Nick? No, it's Neil. So you lose this time, Mark. Thank you. Money. I'm into caveat music. Caveat music? What's that? Well, let's find out. Does anyone here, with a show of hands, does anyone here know what caveat music is? <laughs> OK, well, I'll explain anyway. Caveat music <laughs> is when a songwriter writes a line in a song, regrets the line, but instead of changing the line, they put another line in to explain the line that they regretted. We'll demonstrate with an example. It's a song by Jarvis Cocker. Joe Cocker. Absolutely. <laughs> You are so beautiful To me, that's a great... It's <laughs> a great caveat, it's a great caveat. Yes. Very clever from Joe. He does think you're beautiful, but he's keen that you know that he has unusual taste. He has... <laughs> he has unique taste, in fact. You are not for everyone, that is the message. In that song. And caveat music infiltrates all the genres. You get caveat music in rap music nowadays, and we all know the greatest rapper of the last four, maybe four and a half years, is a man called Coolio. So we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna sing a song by Captain Coolio now, and... He's a captain now. Captain Coolio. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Love Coolio. I'll see you when you get there. I'll see you when you get there. Oh, if you ever get there. That is a threatening caveat. And Coolio, he will see you, but he's not coming to you. You've got to come to Coolio. And the when changed to an if pretty quickly. You may not make it. But the greatest, the greatest of all the caveats, unfortunately for you, is sung by a powerful female. But here I am, a man who got the job purely based on a surname. Still, this is a song <laughs> by Mrs. Or Miss, or Ms, or um, Lord, probably not Lord, it's by <laughs> Bonnie Tyler. Fine. Honestly, it's just... It's the dark. It's just so... dark at night. Also, I live in a bed set, so, um... Not enough room for you at breakfast. That is <laughs> Tyler's caveat song. There's also a genre of music I don't know if you're familiar with. It's called mistake music. Hmm. Now, mistake music is when the artist puts a mistake in a song, I think often deliberately, and it's your job, to spot the mistake in the mistake music. Now, this song is by a band... 
think probably one of the top three bands in this country. Is it the Beatles? Not the Beatles. The Stones? No, no. This is, yes, it's the Red. The Simply Red. And this song is called Money's Too Tight to Mention. OK, Money's Too Tight to Mention. And Mark here is going to sing the song exactly as Mick Hucknall sings it on the recording. I want you to see if you can spot the mistake in Money's Too Tight to Mention. Good luck. This is the Red, sung by Mark Brown. Here we go. Money's too tight to mention. Oh, money, money, money. Money's too tight to mention. Oh, money, money, money. I'm talking about 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 money. money. I'm talking about money, money, I'm talking about money, money, I'm talking about money, 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 money. 57 times he mentions it. <laughs> I don't think it's too tight for Hutton on the end. We're going to have a break. We'll see you in three minutes' time. <laughs> Creamy, that's how I like my milk. Thick and creamy, that's how I like my milk. Mm -hmm. Thick. Okay, now well, that's enough. That's enough. I, I see what you mean now, but it can't be in the show. Okay. Tina Turner has got a Swiss passport. I know. Oh, by the way, Will, I've booked your hydraulic lift for the show. Oh, how fast is it going to be? How fast? You'll be travelling at an unprecedented speed. <laughs> You're simply the best. Anyone I've ever met. Oh, that's <laughs> yes, that's a subtle caveat from Tina there. It is subtle, isn't it? She thinks you're terrific. She thinks you're one of the best, but not the best. She's not prepared to rule out the people she's not yet met. <laughs> yes, she's travelled extensively, but has she been to Norway? Weirdly, no. So, uh, <laughs> so this is the Horn Section television program featuring on base a man called Will Collier. Will, funny name, isn't it? Will, Will, Will. It's like, it's like Phil. It's short for Willip. And Willip, <laughs> I think we're going to get you down. If that's right, we're going to get you down, pop you down on the stage. Who wants to see a Willip on the stage? <laughs> He's going to pop down. I should warn you, Willip is a member of the National Front. Here he comes. <laughs> If you could, Will. <laughs> William Collier! I'm a member of the National Trust. That's a That's the National Front. There we go. There was literally no other way of getting him down or up. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Who wants a game of What's That Note? Well, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. Don't you two need to practice this dance? I'll have a game. Brilliant. OK, give us a note, please. Need. It's Ed. Mm hmm. Mm. What's that note? Is it a vowel? Good try. Let's ask. Is it a vowel? 
It's a D. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. But attention, please. Ben? Oh. Use your sticks. <laughs> What's that note? It's a D. It was, it was a D, was it? Yeah. OK. I really think you need to practice this dance. I really think the dance is going to be fine. In the hacienda, and the boys they say, Que soy buena. They all want me, they can't have me, so they all come and dance beside me. Move with me, chat with me, and if I like, I take you home with me. Dale a tu cuerpo, alegría, macarena. Que tu cuerpo es para dar alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. No! Don't you worry about my boyfriend, no. The boy whose name's Vittorino. I don't want him, couldn't stand him. He was no good, so I. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Que tu cuerpo es para alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Que tu cuerpo es para alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría. Sellotape, 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 sellotape. Okay, do you want? Thick and creamy, that's how I like my milk. Yes. No, this is going to be on TV. It's time for the talent. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Legato Chocolate!
Why don't we get a female singer? Female singer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's about Tina Turner? Right. With a Swiss passport? I don't think so, Ben. If you could concentrate on hitting your circles and making sure everyone's got a chair, that'd be great. Gloria Estefan? Gloria Estefan. That is a lovely suggestion. Thank you, Willett. Wait. Are we allowed one of the girls from Girls Allowed? Are we allowed one of the girls from Girls Allowed? Yeah. Yeah, I like Mark's idea of getting one of the girls from Girls Allowed on the Horn Section television programme. OK. Maybe Nadine Coyle? Mm, but I know that you've got an ulterior motive. No, I don't. Do you know what an ulterior motive is? I know I'd like Nadine Coyle on the show. Why? I've got my reasons. <laughs> the Horn Section television programme, and we are the Horn Section, so-called, of course, because of my name, Alex Section. <laughs> so, let's get to know the drummer. I'm the drummer. Yes, and what a drummer. Ben can play any rhythm at any time, any rhythm. So if you want to shout out a couple of rhythms, we'll find out if he can play them. Shout out a couple of rhythms. <laughs> Bossa Nova. Samba, one more. Bossa Nova. Sorry, was that metal? <laughs> Why not? So Ben now is going to don a helmet camera so we can see him in action. <laughs> People like it. Is it on yet, Ben? No, I'm doing the straps. You haven't done the straps yet. Done the straps. Safety first. <laughs> ben. Yep. Can you play bossa nova, samba and metal? Yep. There we go. No hesitation at all. <laughs> he can play them all, so we won't waste our time with that. Now... It's time now for a very special guest, so please get ready, thank you, and now welcome onto the Horn Section television programme, it's Nadine Coyle! Welcome, Nadine Coyle's here. Hello, Hello, Nadine. Hello, hello. Have a seat. Have a seat, of course. <laughs> ben. Yep. Your job is to get the stools on stage when we have a guest. Oh, sorry. Hang on. So sorry, Nadine. <laughs> so sorry, Nadine. So sorry. It just should have been a better system, I think. <laughs> You know what totally I mean? Fine. I know, but someone could have brought them. Thank you, Ben. But it's just, it's I just right. saying to Nad Ben. Thank you. Ben, be safe. Ben. I was just saying to Nadine, it would have been better if the stools had been on already, something like that. Or if you, again, if you'd been slightly lower. Oh, you could have got Mark. Oh, I could have got someone else to do it, exactly. So maybe think about that. <laughs> Welcome, Nadine. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, before we start, any other business? I think you're looking fantastic. I love you every other really, business. You really, really sharpened up well. Nice gold shoes. <laughs> Aren't they all looking good? Thank you. You look nice. Welcome, thank you. Okay, now it's time for the interview. 
So, like the horn section, all members of Girls Aloud have their own personalised eyelash range. Oh, right. Uh, can you remember how you described your eyelash range? Because they were all designed, briefed and approved by band members. So, Nadine, tell us about your eyelashes. I said hmm. something like it was fun and flirty. It's a fun, flirty style you can wear every day. Yeah. <sighs> she knows her eyelashes. <laughs> However, Nadine, out of the band, whose eyelashes gave great length and texture? <laughs> Love interviewing people. Dare I say Sarah's? Sarah Harding's? You may not say no. that. No. It was Kimberly's. Kimberly's? Sarah's? The description is, they protect the eye from debris and perform some of the same functions as whiskers do on a cat or a mouse. <laughs> we all know that's what Sarah's all about. Doesn't really say that. Yes, look. It doesn't really say that. All right, if you want. Thank you. If you have no pockets, <laughs> you have no pockets. <laughs> but you're doing some solo stuff at the moment, and I obviously would prefer to be solo. So I was wondering, would you... <laughs> it's just... I have to split everything six ways, and also rehearsals are a nightmare because they're a nightmare. So would you, would you consider, Nadine, going solo with me? We could both be solo together. Yeah, we could, like, a, like a solo duo. A solo duo? Well, that's exactly... Yeah. I mean, it's not the name I've picked. Okay. Solo duo didn't make the shortlist. Um, <laughs> I prefer something like natural chemistry. It's a... The season of grief. What do you think about no. that? <laughs> no. Health and safety. Be a funny old band. Or Ian Rush and John Aldridge. I've got so many of these. The last one is Singers Against Dictators. <laughs> Taking a stand. Yeah. Finally. I have a four-year-old who's kind of going that way, so I'm kind of used to a bit of a dictatorship going on. Four. At four. And I've met her. You're completely right. <laughs> so our, our first performance, Nadine, as a double act, um, I thought we could sing the song The Promise. Is that all right? Do people like yeah, The Promise? Good. Of course they like it. Won a Brit Award. Yes, it did. Best single. And also, I've done some research on Wikipedia. Do you know who arranged the woodwind on The Promise? He's on this stage. They are on the stage. They Mark are. Mark Brown and Joe Auckland arranged the woodwind. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Our finest moment. Which means, Nadine, that if we sing the song, they get 25 pence each. Sing it twice, a pound between them. <laughs> <laughs> Worth doing. So, uh, I want you to be Nadine. And I'll be all the other members of Girls Aloud. OK, great. Because of my range. <laughs> right. <laughs> we all know what the song's about, don't we? We all know what the promise is about. It's about... I have no idea. Not a clue. I'm not a clue. Just... I mean, Girls Aloud, we're not known for our songs making sense. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah sings, maybe next time I'll take a ride on by. I'm going to be sort of trying to portray Sarah. Horse or scooter for the ride. <laughs> Horse, Horse. I would say, yeah. Cheryl sings, my Aladdin's lamp is down. Is that metaphorical down? Is it very low, low on batteries? What, what shall I, how shall I represent the low Aladdin's lamp? I think just go with your own interpretation. Whatever you feel, just go with that. Just go with it? Just go with it. Like Cheryl would. Like Cheryl would. Just go with it. The most famous line in it is uh, Sarah has a, a big moment where she goes, here I am, walking Primrose, which is either a metaphor for Sarah as a, as a flower, or Sarah's got a dog called Primrose. <laughs> Can I go with the dog option? Go with the dog option, I'm going to go yeah. with the dog option. Yeah, why not? All right, you ready to sing the song? Yes, let's do it. OK, then. Oh, Ben, would you mind just removing the stools? Uh, we'll wait another half hour. Yes, really we'll wait another half hour. going to get Ben Oh, look at the... this. Oh. Oh, that's a much better system. Yes, way better. Look at that guy. See, that's all it is, Ben. <laughs> One. I'll take a ride on by when I see you near. I'm on a camel in the end. Remember camel? Yeah. Cheryl now. Cheryl! Because I can't play it like I used to now. My Aladdin's lamp is down. And I've got a fear. Oh, baby, right here. Nadine's turn! Give 
King Primrose, you touch him. <laughs> Wondering when I'm gonna see you again. I, I got, got my hands all ready to touch my soul. I got my the energy to wind me close to you. Got my eyes on the prize I see. Are you watching me, baby? There's my heart is turning to solid gold. In my head is saying, honey, too good to be true. But one look in your glitter. I'm beginning to think we might not need music in the show. Uh, 25 pence. Oh, gosh, lovely. <laughs> Why not? Uh, does that make you feel better? Yeah. Joe had a very stressful weekend. Joe, yes. at the weekend, was very near an incident. He witnessed a CPR close up. <gasps> QPR. QPR. He went QPR. to a QPR <laughs> match. <laughs> he was in the front row of a QPR match. It was a 1 1 draw. Off you go, Joe. So, <laughs> now, incredibly, we have another special guest! Whoa! I know. And this person is a household name. He's a hero. He's my hero. Please, give it up for Henry Hoover! Smiling at Hoover Cup, it's Rob's and Tammy. Henry Hoover, Henry Hoover. Well, Norma's nose is less of a nose, it's more of a corrugated dust sucking hose. Dust sucking hose! Well, but if you want a spotless carpet, stronger cleaners are on the market. Mike Dyson, Dustbuster Douglas, Evander Hooverfield, and Electrolux Lewis. Well, I couldn't give a toss, I'm Henry Hoover. Spin me round, I'm quite a mover. Force my nose in your dirty little carpet. Couldn't us, it's quite cathartic. Doodle to Henry Hoover. Doodle Henry Hoover. Henry Hoover's here. Of course he is. Welcome. Thank you, Alan. Alex. Welcome, Henry. Show them the full force of Henry. Henry, there he is. Yes, enjoy that. Drink that in. That will haunt your dreams. Down the camera. Look down the camera. Look down the camera. No, look down the camera. You're looking up left. Look down the... We talked about this. Look down the camera. <laughs> Henry Hoover there. So, welcome, Henry. Thanks for having me, Alan. Alex, fine. So, Henry, how's your week been? Not a great week for me. Oh, I'm sorry to say. Oh, yes, if you could represent sadness, because Henry cannot. Such a bad week. What went wrong this week, Henry? The family pet, the cat, became very unwell. Hetty and I, we, we had to make a difficult trip to the vet, where sadly, the cat was executed. <laughs> Definitely not the term they use. Well, that's very sad. <laughs> would you like to sing a song to cheer us all up? Well, I would, yes, yes please. Good. Yes, good. Yes, what's the song about? Well, you won't believe this, but mm -hmm. recently I've been really getting into this stuff. What's that then? Chinese Five Spice? It is, yeah. Chinese, Chinese Five Spice, okay. You're a fan too. So you're saying Henry Hoover wants to sing a song about Chinese Five Spice, is that correct? Yes, of course he does. Of course he does, yeah. <laughs> of course he does! This is on television, so, um... <laughs> all right, good luck. 
we want to put the microphone in there? I can't see. I know you can't see, Henry. <laughs> we go. Engage. Lovely. Fuming. Cardamom I don't wear cardigans Turmeric It makes me feel sick Masala I prefer banana What about cinnamon? I give it to the binnamon Tamarind It gives me the bad wind Nutmeg You're off your nutmeg It's naughty spice Me, she's a naughty spice Chinese spice spice It's the spice for me Chinese spice spice I take two spoons in my tea Chinese spice spice Clean plate garage Yes, you've got one, two, three, four, five, spies and a happy family. Five spies, Henry Hoover! Henry Hoover is leaving the building. We'll see you again after the break. I am the lead singer in the show. Okay? Uh, you're not a singer. I am a singer. I'm a very good singer. I'm a lovely singer. I could sing Ness and Dorma. <laughs> I genuinely could. Quick quiz. Does anyone know what Ness and Dorma means? Um, I really think we should do some rehearsing. Can I at least do my tune? Shh. Ness and Dorma. Anyone? Yes. It's a type of car. No, that's a Nissan Micra. <laughs> What's your favourite season? Spring's my favourite season. What's the flaming reason that spring's your favourite season? I like to hear the robin sing, makes me feel the joy within. I like to smell the chestnuts roast, and on the fire the crumpets toast. But the robin sings in winter. Really? Is it winter that you're into? Yes, then it must be winter. <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite season? Winter's my favourite season. What's the flaming reason that winter's your favourite season? I like the heat upon my back As I walk down the country track To feel the sun upon my face The long warm days in your embrace But it's not hot in winter Oh, bollocks. Is it summer that you're into? Yes, then it must be summer. <laughs> summer. What's your favourite season? I reckon summer's my favourite season You've said every other season Do you understand the seasons? Yes! I like those leaves of golden brown No, that's autumn, you're a clown I like the flowers when in bloom No, that's spring, you thick baboon Thick baboon! You must have a favourite season But I don't understand the seasons What's your favourite season? Mine is definitely February <laughs> What 
what's next on the show? Next on the show, at this point, it'll be Joe Wilkinson. <whistles> yes. Nice, isn't he? The eyes, the legs. He's a dish. Please welcome a man, a nice man, a generous man, a funny man. It's Joe Wilkinson! <laughs> Wilkinson, Joe Wilkinson. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the show. Thanks for doing it. <laughs> okay, just to say, just say that this is a band, they're all yours. No, you're all right. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to uh, read my autobiography. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> to be fair, it's two pages. <laughs> um, <laughs> bloody hell. Light's not great in here, is it? Sorry, Joe. Right, sorry about this, sorry. Can't really see it. Oh, no, sorry. Chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> ah, loads better, loads better. OK, so this is how I'm going to... Uh, I'm thinking of starting my autobiography. I think the worst Thursday I ever had was when I walked dog shit into the space shuttle of the Apollo 19. <laughs> we were about to launch, so all the hatches were sealed and airtight. So, as you can imagine, it fucking stank. <laughs> I wish I could say I didn't make the same mistake when I walked onto the actual space station a year later, but sadly I can't. <laughs> How I got dog shit on my moon boots that second time, Lord only knows. <laughs> but regardless of all that, I still think it's one of the best episodes of Jim Will Fix It they ever broadcast. <laughs> and I've also got the letter that I, uh, I sent in. So I'll, I'll quickly read that out to you. Dear Jim Will, <laughs> Dear Jimmel, <laughs> will you fix it for me to go into outer space or decriminalise arson? I like doing that. <laughs> kind regards, Joe Wilkinson, age 11 and a half. P.S. Now, Mr. Savile, there's something that worries me about you, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to end the autobiography. Mr. Appleby was my history teacher at school, but he also had the absolute honour, the absolute honour of sorting out work experience. <laughs> But unfortunately for me, Appleby insisted on assigning jobs in alphabetic order. So by the time it got to me, Wilkinson, all the best jobs had gone, like ash felting or working in a Johnny machine factory. <laughs> the only pupils assigned worse jobs for me that year were Steve Xerox, Tony Yacht and Roy Zigzag. <laughs> So the following Monday, I was shipped off to a maximum security prison in West Texas. <laughs> where I'd be working on death row for a week. Cheers, Appleby! <laughs> <laughs>
As I entered that small dark corridor, I noticed someone had, had put up a sign that read, you don't have to be mad to work here on death row, but it helps because this is an incredibly harrowing job. <laughs> After a quick cup of soup, I was assigned my job. <laughs> I was going to be preparing the condemned men their last meal. I'm 14. <laughs> I was introduced to Tobias Fuller, who was being executed the following morning. I explained to him that I was here on work experience and asked if he wouldn't mind filling out one of the assessment forms Mr Appleby had given him. But he didn't answer. <laughs> I explained that it could affect my chances of getting into sixth form college. But it's like he didn't care. <laughs> I felt like saying it's probably this sort of self-centeredness that got you in this mess in the first place. <laughs> the rest of the week went much better. The lads even let me press the button that sets in motion to buy a lethal injection, which was lovely of them. <laughs> Months later, it has proved that Tobias couldn't have committed the murder he was executed for. So that will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> but I guess that's what work experience is all about. <laughs> Um, I feel they added nothing. Yes, I often feel that. Uh. Have you finished? <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, hmm? will anyone actually know who we are at this point in the show? Do I think anyone watching will know your names? Yes. No, they will not. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right. Do you want me to remind them what your names are? Yes. OK. All right, I will then. Ed. Eb. How are you spelling it? We are the horn section, featuring a man who has the legs of a puma, the hearing of an eagle, and the hands of Terry Nutkins. It's Willip Collier on bass. Take it away, Will. Yes. And to recap, on drums, he counts up to 200 every night before going to sleep. It's the only way. It's Ben Reynolds! And on piano... He needs no introduction. It's the dancing man! He can dance! Of course he can do some dancing! Do some dancing! Go on, Ned, Ned, Fred? Something like that. And dance! Dance! Yeah, dance! 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 Of course he can dance! But can he leap? And leap! 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 Back to the piano, and then we have the twins! Oh, yeah, the twins! Mark and Joe on horns, but who's best? Let's find out. Mark, you go first, and we will judge you. Off you go. Good. That's very nice. Thank you. That's lovely. We could do that in the show. That's exactly what we need. Thank you. We're just tuning up. I know. I know you were just tuning up. It's, just, it's a compliment. What's next? Oh dear. You're going to be wanting to rehearse the other dance now. Yes, I do. I don't. So, uh, bad luck. <laughs> Car when you're tired.
dry as a bold you won't start Especially in the cold the man told you But you didn't understand what a crack shot is Your breakdown's covered with the A, A. You're always covered with the A, A. You can get yourself clean. You can have a good meal. You can do whatever you feel. Taxes, everybody does pay their taxes. I pay mine every day. Sadly, you can't get away. They will hunt you. You should be frightened of the H-M-R-C They're very thorough at the H-M-R-C They have everything for your men to enjoy You can hang out with all the boys Sick dog, there's no need to feel down I said sick dog, get yourself off the ground Stand up, slip your ass and sit down There's no need to They'll make you better at the RSPCA They'll nurse you back to help RSPCA You can get yourself clean You can have a good meal You can do whatever you feel If there's something you want to know about pandas There's a place you can go on your laptop Or on your mobile phone You just oh. And you should just type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.wwf.org.uk forward slash FAQ. You should just type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.wwf.org.uk. Frequently asked questions. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. That is too kind. That is genuinely too kind. That is unnaturally kind. Well, we do have time for one final guest. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited, you're excited, she's excited, Mark's excited, Will, etc. Please welcome to the stage, <laughs> Sue Perkins! <laughs> Sue Perkins! <laughs> Sue Perkins! <laughs> Sue Perkins! <laughs> Worse than a dean. Sue, you met? Sue? Are you, are you on? Are you on? Sue Perkins. Sue Perkins. Sue Perkins. Sue Perkins. Hello, beautiful. Hello. What and what? Yes. Uh, have a seat. So sorry, Sue. Ben, would you mind just grabbing a couple of pair of stools? Who's got the chair? Who's... Ben, the drummer. Ben, the drummer. His responsibilities are hit the circles, get the stools. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Ben, earlier on, I suggested maybe a different system. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never too late to implement a system, Ben. Absolutely. There you go. Stools. <laughs> Welcome, Sue. Sue, this is the band. Band, this is Sue. Hey, band. Hi, Sue. Yeah. You've obviously got a love of music. We all know that in 2008, you won the, uh, the BBC show Maestro, didn't you? You won, you won that by conducting people. I did, yeah. I just waved stuff and they did it, and then that was, it was lovely. You beat Goldie in the final. Yeah, marvellous man. 
What a night that was in my household. So, Sue, so I was wondering, <laughs> would you like to do some conducting? We've got the orchestra. See, I'd love to, but I, I, the, there's no bassoon. And Yet. I, for me, mm? I need at least a full desk of violas and a bassoon. Otherwise, I can't, I can't do it, Alex. How big is a full desk of violas? I'd say a four or a five how is many, a desk. How many violas have we got? Have we got, have we got any? Three right. Instead, Sue, would you like to play a game? Yes, I would. You would like to play yeah. a game? Okay, involves conducting. No, no, okay. no conducting. She's not keen to conduct. No. That's right. Well, this is a game called Sue Pollard, okay? The way Sue Pollard works is that I'm going to write down a word on this card. Yeah. Okay? The word will either be soup or lard. Okay, Sue Pollard. Mm -hmm. All right, it's okay. Right. Yes. You then have to guess which word I've written. <laughs> yeah. And that will count as a bit of the show. Okay. How much of the show? Well, it depends. Depends, I suppose. I was thinking of doing first to 20. <laughs> OK, so I'm now writing down no, a word. Try and not look. No, don't look. Can I have the writing music, please? Have you written it yet? No, I'm this waiting This is wasted. I'm this wa is wasted. OK, thank you, Ed. I've written it down. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to say you've written lard. Mm, now, would you like a hint before you commit to that answer? Yes, I would. It's a four-letter word. OK. <laughs> lard. No, it's soup. So that's the game oh, of soup or lard. <laughs> That's, it's a great game. Yeah. It's a great game. Now, how about some conducting? No, Alex. Mm, I just think Seven. it'd be great if you conducted the band for a bit. Look, I don't want to conduct... Got a bat on. No, I don't okay. know. Put that in. Where was that? <laughs> Where did you pull that up Never from? Never you mind. Yeah. Look, we could just ask me some other questions. So, let me start, Sue, by asking you this. You've had quite a career. You've done all sorts of things. But what verb means to institute legal proceedings against someone? Sue. Correct. Beginning with P now. What <laughs> adjective Ooh. means cheerful and lively? Perky. Perky. That's right. It's now, right. what has a sturdy soul, doesn't reach above the ankle and covers a foot? Shoe. Shoe is right. Shoe. <laughs> Can I ask you this? What is the name of those small cucumbers that you get pickled in jars? <laughs> Gherkins. Okay. OK, and now, I'm going to ask you this. Yeah. What is your name? Mel Gedroich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think yes. I should ask you about your career? If you want to. OK, how's your career? It's, I, I don't, it's all right. Great, yeah. well, I've written a poem about Thank it. Thank you, good. <laughs> it's about your life so far. Um, you do have uh, some lines in the poem. OK. Your line mm -hmm. is going to be... I was on win, lose, or draw. OK, which is true. Yes, it's true, yeah. yeah. But it was actually win, lose, or draw late, late. so I'll say the word late. And you're going to follow Willip. Willip will sing his line. What's okay. your line, Willip? What's it all been for? Then you say, I was on... I was on win, lose, or draw. Oh, <laughs> what a poem this is going to be. It was quite... OK, yeah. here we go. This is Sue Perkins' poem. She's done light lunch, late lunch, rise and dinotopia. Mock the weak, weakest link, QI and poker. Question time, maestro, room 101 and news night. Supersizers, culture show, big spell, big food fight. A band for Britain, travel shows, ab fab, Mel and Sue. Celeb big bro, generation game, and have I got news for you? <gasps> Don't scare the hair, what the dickens? Celebrity master shoff. Insert name here, can't touch this. The Great British Bake Off. But what's it all been for? I was on with Lucy on Late. She's done almost every show that's ever been on TV. But still, it doesn't seem like the most impressive CV. All these years, something's missing, something that she hasn't done to get her over Gedroich, Tess Daly, and Winkleman. But here tonight, the hours of work have come to fruition. She's singing with a tall and vegetarian musician. Yes, she's done it. She's completed the Broadcasting Grand Slam. She's at the peak here at the Horn Section Television Programme. Yes, this is what it's all been for. I was on win, lose, or draw. Right. Sue Perkinson. Genuinely moving. Yeah? Yeah. Yes? Well, I think we've probably finished. But before I go, can I ask one thing, like a favour? I would 
really like to do a conga. You can't be in a lovely space like this and not do a conga. Come on. <laughs> Please, can I do a conga? Let me do a conga. Let me do a conga. Conga. <laughs> well, I just was very keen on the, on the old... Uh, oh, God, no, no, no. OK, well, if we do a conga, could you do it on our terms? Because I think the trouble is with a conga. If no one joins in the conga, then it's just a lady wandering around on stage, shaking one leg and then the other. That's my career you're okay. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I would prefer if we did it sort of backwards. So we started with you with your conga train behind you. Yeah. You walk backwards, the band will play the music backwards, and they will gradually disband, and then it's just you at the end looking at me saying, ideally, agnock, which is conga backwards. Sure. Would that be a way of doing it? Um, I'll do it. I'm up for it. Do we have any People volunteers to be in Sue's conga train? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Ready? Yeah. Okay, please come up to the stage. We're going to do a conga! <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. How are you doing? Hmm. This way, please. This way. Sue, if you stand there. Yep. And there they are. Wow. Well, you all look... Weirdly, you all look... Like you're over six foot two and you've got a beard. But still, there we go. Sometimes coincidences happen, ladies and gentlemen. Deal with it. Right. Uh, number one, would you mind just uh, grabbing, and I'm sorry about this, Sue's flanks. <laughs> Lovely. I know. I didn't realise I had flanks until they were gripped so powerfully. Well, that's what number one will do. I don't He's even know your name. We will never know his name. <laughs> that's how I like it. Number one. <laughs> you okay, Sue? You're fine with all that being broadcast on the television? <laughs> this is the Horn Section television programme. Right. <laughs> It's a backwards conga. I need you all to cheer at the start because that's the end. <laughs> I will then say, sneaker poos, which is Sue Perkins backwards. We all know that. <laughs> sneaker poos. You will then notice that I have done a Rubik's cube, but it'll be backwards. It's a lot easier backwards. So, <laughs> yeah, learn that. Then I will come over to you, Sue. Adcock, then... ag not Adcock, not Adcock. Not Adcock in the end. Not Adcock. <laughs> And then the music starts, which is ends. They will play it backwards. Uh, so on your air, shake your leg, because that's hay backwards. OK? Everyone fine with that? Does everyone understand? Good. Well, that's great. OK. So <laughs> as long as you guys understand, when I tap you quite aggressively on your shoulder, please return to your seats backwards. Just trot backwards. Don't worry too much about the f inevitable fall. <laughs> Can I just say this is the longest I've been held for such a long time? By how, by how I many minutes? I don't... I don't want it to stop, if I'm honest, so... So, everyone ready? Here we go. So, you're going to cheer because it's the end of the conga. <laughs> Sneaker poos! <laughs> ah, no! Alex, 
I thought I might buy you a hat. You're in charge of rhythms and seating, Ben. I know, I know, I know. But I've got an idea about the end of the show that involves a hat. That will not make it into the Horn Section television programme. Won't it? No, Ben, wake up. This isn't the future. The drummer can't just have an idea involving a hat and that becomes the big end of the show. We're not on holiday. This isn't the Seychelles, Ben. But I've already bought you a hat. You shouldn't have bought me a hat. But I already have. What sort of a hat is it? I've sent you a picture. Yeah. Vegetables. Come on, baby, let me see those legumes. You can leave your head on. Yeah. You can leave your head on. You can leave your head on. Now, baby, take off your scuba gear. Yep. Want to pop down again? <laughs> no, thanks. Little chat, let's have a little chat. You can no. pop down here for a little chat? I'm all right, mate. I'd like, rather stay up here. If I'm I'd right. like it if you came down here and sung one of your silly little songs. <laughs> no. Will <laughs> is a very sad person, and he writes these silly little miserable songs. And I would like you to sing one of your miserable songs now to these people and I, the people I'd at rather, home. I don't want to. You so don't want to, uh, but I'd you're going, to, sing, you're go, you're going no, to sing it. Please don't touch that lever. I'm going to touch the lever. <laughs> Look, it's Willip. Thank you. I'm on my knees. I cry most every night. Darkness descends. Nothing feels quite right. A cloud hangs low. My trusty soul has died I lost my reason And I can't find my pride I didn't know 
that one could be this blue I lost my world the day that I lost my underpants I mean, logically, it doesn't work, doesn't work. <laughs> if you've lost your underpants, why would you cut a hole in your trousers in the shape of a heart? It doesn't work, but he insists every night doing the song. <laughs> the entire show, the entire show is like that. So, what a night we've had here on the horn section television programme. We've had Joe Wilkinson. Thank you so much. And as a little treat, I'm going to invite my fifth favourite member of the band, Mark Brown, to sing just a little song before we go. So Danny Pops, Danny Pops, no clapping please, but just whooping. <laughs> Spooky. Okay, so Mark, <laughs> they're all yours. This is the climax of the show. Please don't ruin it. I'm gonna sing a special song It's not too short and not too long A simple tune, a simple guy A cheeky wink, a humble smile <laughs> The secret of a song like this Is keep it brief, don't take the piss I'll sing my song, won't hang around Make my point, then sit back down because less is more Don't be a bore You don't want to make your own throat So keep it short and sweet Like Danny DeVito Try not to boost your own ego No need to say the same thing twice just say it once, don't say it twice Don't complicate things musically Just play guitar and maybe keys A pinch of bass, a dash of brass A hint of drums, a touch of class Maybe add some harmonies And sing a line in Cantonese Ciao, <laughs> Jujie, 